fruitful lives, evidence of the Spirit's work. Text Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23, John 15, verses 5 through 8, Matthew 7, verses 16 through 20. 1. The marks of a true disciple, bearing fruit for the kingdom. Beloved, the scriptures tell us that our lives are known by the fruit we bear. Yeshua himself said in Matthew 7, verse 16, By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? This is a call for every believer to live in such a way that the world sees the evidence of God's Spirit at work within us. A true disciple is known not by their words alone, but by the fruit of their life. If we are followers of Messiah, then our lives must reflect His character, His love, His holiness. The fruit we bear is not for our glory, but for His. As Yeshua declared in John 15 verse 8, This is how my Father is glorified, in your bearing much fruit. This is how you will prove to be my Talmudim disciples. 2. The Fruit of the Spirit Evidence of Transformation The Apostle Paul tells us in Galatians 5 verses 22 and 23 what the fruit of the Spirit looks like. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are not traits we can produce on our own. They are the evidence of the Spirit's transforming power in our lives. Oh, my friends, how often do we strive to be good, kind, and patient in our own strength only to fall short? But let me tell you, the Spirit produces in us what we cannot. The fruit of the Spirit is a gift, not something we can manufacture. And when we walk by the Spirit, He brings forth this fruit, showing the world that we belong to Yeshua. 3. Abiding in the Vine Staying connected to Christ Yeshua taught us in John 15 verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who stay united with me and I with them are the ones who bear much fruit, because apart from me, you can't do a thing, beloved. Our ability to bear fruit comes from abiding in the vine staying connected to Yeshua. We cannot bear fruit on our own. Only by remaining in Him will our lives produce lasting fruit. Abiding in Yeshua means daily fellowship, constant communion, and surrender to His Spirit. Just as a branch draws life from the vine, so must we draw our strength and guidance and our purpose from the Messiah. When we do, the fruit of our lives will be a testimony to the world showing that we are His disciples. 4. Bearing fruit that endures. Eternal impact through faithful living. There is a difference, my friends, between temporary good works and fruit that endures. In John 15 verse 16, Yeshua said, You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. The fruit that endures is the work done in partnership with the Spirit, work that points others to Christ and impacts eternity. Oh, how many works of men fade away, forgotten by time. But the fruit of the Spirit, the work done in Yeshua's name, will endure forever. Let us not waste our time on works that bring glory to ourselves, but commit to bearing fruit that brings glory to God and leaves an eternal legacy. 5. Conclusion Live as witnesses through fruitful lives. So I ask you today, what kind of fruit is your life bearing? Is there evidence the Spirit works in you? Do you reflect the character of Christ in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control? Let us be a people marked by the Spirit's fruit, living in such a way that the world sees the power of God at work within us. This is our witness to the world, not empty words, but lives transformed by the Spirit, bearing fruit for the kingdom. Go forth, beloved, and live fruitful lives that testify to Yeshua. Abide in Him.
and let his spirit bring forth the fruit that glorifies God and draws others to salvation. Prayer. O Lord, we thank you for the gift of your spirit and for the fruit that he produces within us. We confess that apart from you, we can do nothing. And we ask that you would keep us abiding in Yeshua, the true vine. Empower us to bear fruit that reflects your love, your holiness, and your truth. May our lives be a testimony to the world, showing that we are your disciples by the fruit we bear. Help us to live in surrender to your spirit, producing fruit that will last and bring glory to your name. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah, our Messiah, we pray. Amen.